Parts of Florida are among the wettest places in the US, with up to 180 centimeters of rain a year. Not so good if you came here for a beach holiday, but great for farmers like Tom Kirshner. This is what adds up to giving us a good environment to grow citrus, adequate rainfall to produce large crops with lots of juice in them. Oranges are ripe for the picking, but there's no substitute for the taste test. Can't beat that. Ready to make orange juice. They need to be picked, and with millions of oranges ripening at once, they need to be picked fast. If you want to get fruity in a hurry, you need one of these terrifying contraptions. Or as they like to call it here, the Oxbow 3220. This magnificent machine is what's known in the trade as a continuous canopy shaker. And this particular machine was designed by Tom Visser. It engages the foliage of the tree and shakes it to and fro and the shake is violent enough to sever the fruit stem and the, then the fruit falls and gets intercepted. The Oxbow can harvest an incredible two tons of oranges every minute. This performance comes at a price. A pair of these mechanical orange pickers will set you back a million dollars. Just as well Tom's got enough work to keep them busy, picking two million boxes of oranges, totaling 81,000 tons of fruit per year. Once the oranges have been picked, the race is on to make sure your breakfast OJ tastes as fresh as can be. So the fruit is shipped out in these 400 horsepower transport trucks, 20,000 kilos. ...to these trucks a day. And uh, each, each one of these trucks will hold about 120,000 oranges. In 24 hours, will be about 24 million pieces of fruit that will run through here. So more often than not, Dave gets his daily dose of vitamin C. To begin with, the oranges are washed out of the trucks. The fruit is then carried along two kilometers of conveyors into the processing plant where it's graded. The oranges are separated by size, and it's time to extract the juice. But these days you won't find gangs of sad-looking orange squeezers with sore wrists. This is orange juice squeezing on an industrial scale. This fearsome machine drops each orange into a ring of metal prongs, which squeeze out the juice before ejecting the pith and peel. From orange to OJ in the blink of an eye. Of course, when it comes to OJ, the world is divided into two great opposing camps. One likes it smooth, the other with bits. A load of the pulp that has been carefully screened is added back into the juice to create the wholesome, authentic OJ with all the...